an awful person. You're so snarky, stubborn, and self-centered. It is impossible to be with you. And now this train is broken. Everything is broken. You're broken, Ella. Hello, everyone. This is your conductor speaking. Everything is fine. We are taking a quick stop for some small repairs, and then we will get right back on schedule, hopefully. <laughs> Feel free to stretch your legs, get some fresh air, and enjoy the beautiful plains of... Well, it doesn't quite matter where we are, only where we're going. Uh, estimated wait time is hopefully about 20 minutes. Thank you for your patience. You know how in a scary movie, when the main character is running straight towards something dangerous, and you know something bad is going to happen, so you're just yelling at the TV for them to turn around and run away, but they don't. I'm sorry, but I'm kind of in the middle of something. And then all of a sudden, the screen goes dark, and you're inching further in your seat for that moment, when bam, there it is, the danger. I am so, so, so sorry, but I'm really not in the mood for this right now. Don't you just wish that someone would have warned that character that something bad was going to happen? Goodbye. You can't get back on that train. What? Why not? Something bad is happening and it's broken down. The screws falling off. The rattling. The screeching. The train will be fine. I'm sorry, I have to go. No! I'm sorry. Are you alright? It's okay. It needs to Look, I I wish I knew more. I just have a feeling. Getting back on that train is not a good idea. Something is happening, and I cannot let you. Haven't you ever felt bad about something? Just a little. I just know that if I don't do anything about this, then something bad happens. I can't help you. Are you all right? Where are your parents? Hey, it's all right. You're fine. Everything's fine. Just take a deep breath. crazy. This world wasn't meant for anyone to be alone. We need people in our lives, and sometimes those people leave, and we can't do anything about it. I just want them back.
sorry, I have to go. But let's find someone to help you. Like you. Yeah, I already had me before. No, that woman over there. She's leaving too. Ella, did you change your mind? This woman will be able to help you until you find your parents and make sure you're safe. You don't have anything to worry about. Don't leave! I'm sorry, I can't stay. Why not? I have a life, and a future, and a boyfriend. There are but boys. I can't lose the one I have. <laughs> I know my parents aren't on there, so why would I get back on? You don't know for sure. I'm sorry, I have to go. Wait, where are you going? Goodbye. Don't do this! You will die if you get back on that train. We will not die if we get back on the train. Are you sure? You don't have any good evidence that any of this will even happen. You want evidence? Heebie-jeebies 
Please remember. <laughs> she is going to be fine. I am helping her. To be honest, you have not been very helpful. I agree with this little girl. I still don't know where I'm going, and I've been here for at least ten minutes. I'm sorry, but what are you talking about? I've been, I've been on that stupid car. train for too long just trying to find my parents. Do you think your parents would like you to be talking to I think we all just need to get back on the train. <laughs> All of our stuff is on there. There's nothing out here. There's not another way out. And your parents aren't here. My parents are dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bring up bad memories. Oh, my parents died together, yet somehow still alone and unhappy. I don't think they were even ever in love. If they were, maybe they would have lasted. Or maybe if they had somewhere or someone else to go to than each other. Maybe if I had someone to go to other than them. I'm sorry, that is awful. <laughs> My parents can adopt you. Oh, that's very kind of you. This wasn't the best for little me. That's why we need to get out, Ella. We can't end up like them. We can do it. We can get out of this together. You too. I can't. You can't get back on. Because something really bad is going to happen. That strange lady is right. We will be able to make it out of this situation alive together. That train is broken. It's far beyond repair. But we are not quite broken yet. I'm sorry, but are you always this frazzled? No, but my ex-boyfriend did always call me crazy. <laughs> Same here. Now, what can we do? I wonder how long it'll take us to walk to the nearest train station. I got this. I can figure it out. I'll use my instinct. <laughs> I mean, if the North Star is out there somewhere, never mind. It doesn't really matter. We're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> Whoop! We need a road trip song. How can we be expected to leave without a road trip song? You know, I think some people just give up because they don't we have, have a car. <sighs> All of the possibilities at our disposal. Wait, we don't have food or water. Have I ever told plant. you the story of Philippe the French turtle? <laughs> <laughs> it really is a good one. Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, maybe it was a tortoise. <laughs> or was it a hare? Uh, we can tell stories and jokes and we can sing songs. You know, I really think you're going to enjoy coming with us. We them. need a map. We don't even know where we're going. Do you realize how dangerous that oh. is? Oh. It's not dangerous, it's exciting. We get to leave, and we're all okay. We're okay. Oh, we're finally okay. Onward. <laughs> Wait, stop. We don't have a plan. We don't know where we're going. Doesn't that scare you? How are you guys okay with this? We need a plan. We need water. How long is this journey even going to be? We, we need to figure this out. Logically speaking, there has to be. What's this? We need to rethink this. This can't be the right choice, right? There's nothing out here. There's no way to get anywhere. We are all alone. What are you talking about? You said you would get us out of here. You promised you would get us out. I'm sorry, I can't. You aren't actually serious. Unlike yourself, I am. We cannot just go making rash decisions on a whip. Oh, how could you not see what we need to do? For God's sake, a child even knew the turn and run. I was wrong. We need to get back on the train. Logically, it's safer for everyone. It seems safe, but that train is so damaged. It threatens us. It threatens everyone who gets back on. It's not safe. Well, what are we supposed to do about it? Just stay here till someone comes along with a helicopter and flies us to safety? Yeah, that's plausible. I'm sure someone is just begging to find somebody in need of rescue. Look around. They aren't. That's not how the real world works. We're all alone in this world. No one is coming to save us. You're right. We are alone, and we don't know what to do next. But we have to fight for ourselves, and we can do it. How, how do you know that this is the right thing to do? We don't, but it's dangerous. We know that. Isn't it better to take the chance and do something than walk straight into danger we know is there? Five minutes! Five minutes! 
choice. 